Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to go over some of the options available for anyone who's living in the UAE but looking to invest in the US stock market. With the platforms that I'll be mentioning today, you can buy into companies such as Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Tesla, so on. You will also have access to ETFs, which are exchange-traded funds. I have to let you know that I'm not receiving any sort of monetary compensation or any other sort of compensation from any of the platforms that I will be mentioning today as of making this video. I have used some of the mentioned platforms and have found them useful. Hence, I thought that others may also benefit from this information and that's purely why I am making this video. Please do not rely only on this video to make your decision about which brokerage to go with or you know which investment service to go with. I request that you do your own due diligence and consult a registered financial advisor if need be prior to making any financial decision. Also, by the way, if you like the sweater that I'm wearing, the Karak Season sweater, um, it's available on Abu Dhabi Youth Hub's website, which is uh, their store. It's El Boutique. And I'll leave links in the description below if you want to check out the sweater, if you want to buy it for yourself. I don't receive any sort of compensation again from this. I just really like the sweater and that's why I'm wearing it. Um, it's made by a local UA designer by the name of Jasmine Mumpily. I'll include a link to her Instagram page also in the description below. Right, so getting back to equities. So the first option that I wanted to mention was Interactive Brokers. Interactive Brokers is an online American brokerage firm. It's one of the best options if you're looking for a do-it-yourself kind of strategy. Their platform is a bit complex, but their mobile app is extremely easy to use. They offer almost any sort of investment product that you could possibly imagine, from stocks to bonds, futures, forex options, all that stuff. And earlier, they used to have a minimum deposit of $10,000, but now that's gone down to zero. However, they do charge a small fee for every buy and sell order. Interactive Brokers has some of the lowest fees compared to other options, but they don't have a physical office in the UAE, so the entire process can just be done online. Generally, it's quite fast and easy to set up an account with Interactive Brokers. It takes a couple of days, but once the account is set up, you have access to most of the major stock markets across the globe through this one platform. I personally use Interactive Brokers for my own investments and have been very happy with the service. A few points to consider before setting up an account with them. Make sure that you're aware about the monthly fees that are applicable and choose a fee structure so they are fixed and tiered uh, depending on what's right for you. And it depends on what kind of securities you plan on buying in this account. What the domicile of the securities is, how long you plan on holding these securities, a couple of factors like that. There's also a fantastic group uh, on Facebook called Simplify, which is full of expats who are basically personal finance enthusiasts in the UA. I recommend joining that group and asking questions if you get stuck somewhere. The community is extremely helpful and they're very considerate people. So that's a really good resource that'll help out. So the second option that I wanted to go over was Sarwa. Sarwa is not a brokerage. It's more of an investment service that's located in Dubai. They are regulated by the UAE financial authorities. They also use interactive brokers to hold the securities that you purchase with them. Sarwa offers a service to diversify your portfolio and allocate your capital based on your risk tolerance. They have an office in DIFC, which is the Dubai International Financial Center, where they have a team of financial advisors to guide you through the entire process, literally from A to Z. It's a great service for those who are just getting started with investing in equities. Sarwa does charge a fee higher for their services, so make sure you go through their fee structure and understand what the company offers prior to investing with them. Sarwa is doing a fantastic job compared to what a lot of the financial advisors are doing in the country right now. I previously used to use Sarwa myself, and I've made a video about that in the past. If you're interested, you could check that video out later also. I'll include links to that video in the description below. The next options are Swissquote and Saxo Bank. Swissquote and Saxo Bank, they serve as offshore bank accounts and brokerages if you're looking for that sort of an option. I personally don't know much about both of these since I don't use either, and those that are using these options have been quite happy with them. I believe that Swissquote gives you the option of uh, having your funds domiciled in either Switzerland or Luxembourg, uh, while in the case of Saxo Bank, it's the domicile of the funds is in Denmark. If you're interested in either options, you could look into them and do your own due diligence and see what kind of suits your needs best. The reason that I didn't choose either options is due to the annual custodian fee that they charge. A custodian fee is basically an annual fee that's charged for just holding your securities. For me, the benefits didn't outweigh the cost of the custodian fee 
And that's why I decided not to go ahead and make an account with either of these. The next platform that you could use to buy US equities is eToro. I personally do use eToro and find it to be a very user-friendly platform. There's no custodian fee on eToro and even there are no commissions on buy or sell orders. However, eToro does promote a lot of CFT trading and leverage, which may or may not be suitable for a lot of people. I personally like the copy trading feature that's offered on the platform and that's why I use it. The final option that I wanted to go over was buying through banks. There are a whole load of equity investment options offered by banks in the UAE. But of course, since they are banks, they do charge good fees for this. Do make sure that you read the fine print when investing with a bank. This is just something that I've noticed when deciding to buy equities through a bank, you are more likely to find a larger variety of investment options from larger multinational banks, maybe such as Standard Chartered or Citibank or HSBC, just name a few at random, over most of the local banks that are there. However, that may not always be the case for certain priority accounts. Local banks may actually have more unique sort of options and uh, they may even offer attractive rates. It really varies based on your own individual requirements and what sort of equity investments that you're looking into. Also, irrespective of whatever option you do decide to go with, please do look into the domicile of the investment platform that you're deciding to go ahead with. Get a clear idea with respect to the taxes and the fees that would be applicable. Many people, unfortunately, are subject to extremely high fees that are hidden and those eat into their investment gains over the long term. Also, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, check out the Simplify group on Facebook. It's an extremely helpful resource and you get a lot of honest opinions on there. If you've got any questions about any of the platforms that I've mentioned or my experience with them, leave them in the comments below. Also, you could message me on Instagram, send me a DM and uh, yeah, the Instagram link should be down here somewhere. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, hope this video was helpful and informative. Do leave a like and uh, thank you for watching.